Hello everybody, this is Jason Nestor and I am going to show you my new template. It's um, more of an application template this time around. I see a lot of times on forums people are asking, are there any non-game game salad applications out there? Um, there are a few, um, but nothing too grandiose as to where it would be like a standalone app. I wanted to take this route to the next level if possible and see what is possible. So this is my first of a few templates where I'm going to try to explore what is possible in terms of standard app development with Game Salad? Because Game Salad is typically viewed as a game building tool, but it's so easy to use, it's a shame that you can't build apps with it. So I am on a mission to prove that you can. So this is my first step in that journey. Uh, I have a friend of mine that's going to start marketing small business apps, and I wanted to make the experience as easy as possible for him so that way he didn't have to try to do too much with phone gap or uh, Xcode or anything like that so this really breaks it down and makes it really really simple and easy to customize if you had like just a few standard templates you can actually start a small business just uh, creating apps for for people and um, just making a making a business out of that if, if you'd like so it's a big business out there a lot of people are doing mobile apps these days um, a lot of people want mobile apps these days but they think that the price range is out of reach if you could give them a reasonable price and build them a quality app to promote their service or business, um, I'm sure people would jump at the chance for that. Mobile websites are huge, but mobile applications are something that everybody wants to get their hands in. So, so uh, this could be the first step for some of you out there that are interested in, in being a little entrepreneurial, or maybe you have a business you'd like to market for yourself. I'm actually going to develop a, um, an application for game development studios too here pretty soon kind of give you an idea of what's possible in promoting yourself and keeping your customers updated without having to visit your website. So let me open up the app and we'll see. This is actually just a fake pizza restaurant app. Um, but it has a lot of features that I think are neat and um, kind of thinking outside the box of what's possible with game salad. So here we go. Here we have the opening splash loading page. It kind of gives it that application look it's loading into the main page so here it is it's the first splash page kind of gives people an idea of the business um, it has the directions up top at all times and the really cool thing about um, the open URL behavior if you're a pro user is that you can choose to have it open within the application which is great because you want to keep people inside your application if you have links and things like that well the cool thing about Google Maps is that when you're doing directions it's it's all built out. I'll show you. So the way it works is you click on directions here and it brings up this little header piece here. And you basically get what looks like a standard Google Maps API built into your app when in reality it's just the open URL behavior. But it works really, really great. So if somebody wants to uh, find directions to the land of pizza, they would just click here and they can enter their directions and it's built into your app. So when they're all finished, they got their directions, they can do a screenshot or however they want to do it, and then close. So there you go. Um, okay, let's go to the About section of this app. So this gives you a little idea of um, the business. Um, the, the template itself kind of explains some of um, my thoughts in building the template, but you get the idea. It's like an About page. All of the text in this app, aside from the headers, are um, used using the display text. Um, uh, using display text, um, it works really nice. It looks pretty crisp, and uh, I'll also include the PSD for this. So, if you want to redo the headers, you want to retheme it, you can do that. So, a lot of thing, a lot of times nowadays, people are wanting to put viral games and interactive activities and things like that into their applications. And uh, Game Salad is really easy to do that using tools like uh, Deep Blue Apps uh, Project Merger tool. You can put a game into your application easily. So I kind of took that and I put one of my free templates that was kind of related to pizza in here. So play Pizza Catcher now, and it opens up a little window. And inside there is my Where's My Water Pizza app that I made, which is free and it's also free with this template, of course. But but uh. Yeah, so here we collect the pizza. Boom, 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 and it closes. I had it closed whenever um, you win, but you get the idea. You can actually embed 
um, a game right into your, your application as well. So it kind of gives, gives it that viral edge. Um, and if you're a game development studio, you can actually put demos of your games in your application if possible. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so we'll move on to the menu page. This is just kind of um, an idea of what a menu would look like or something like that. I don't know. If you're a business, you might have a product page, a product listing page. And um, I, a long time ago, I saw people looking um, to make like a photo gallery app for an artist or something like that. I kind of demonstrated here how you could do that. Um, so if you click on one of these thumbnails down here, it opens up kind of like a modal window. And um, you have your picture there. And you can just click on the X up here. Boom, and it closes. You can drag and drop your images right into there, and it'll open up big versions of your images, and you have yourself a mini photo gallery. I don't expect people to keep this template as is. You you, you totally can um, keep it in the same format if you want, and you know if you if you wish. But um, you can just use these different elements in different ways. It just kind of give you an idea of what is possible with Game Salad, and you can totally use this framework any way you like. But um, here we are, we're on the contact page. You've already saw the directions. Um, you can link up the phone number if you'd like. You can put an email. Um, the open URL behavior allows uh, mail to commands, but I didn't put those in there. They're pretty simple. Um, two of the things that I think are really neat that um, I figured out how to do. A lot of people complain about game salads and comp uh, lack of video. You can't insert videos into your apps. You can't do cutscenes. I have been working on that. Um, you actually can do it with cutscenes. The issue with that is you're going to have a done button because you have to use the internet to do it. Um, you can automatically have uh, a window open with a video triggered by the end of a scene or anything like that. Um, you just have to deal with the fact that they have to click done at the end of the cutscene. So um, You can include that in your video if you like, like, like click done to continue or something. Anyhow, um, here we are. So video. You click on the video. And you see it opens up a window, and it's got a full screen YouTube video. You can actually use other um, video sources as long as they're HTML5 compatible and not Flash. But basically, I included um, an HTML template with with this template um, that shows you what you can upload to your server, and it has a little bit of HTML that kind of full screens it out, and you have a full screen video. So here we'll play it. So you get the idea. So also, as I said before, this also includes an HTML template that you can just drop onto your website, um, where you can replace the video code with whatever you'd like, just keeping the dimensions. And you can include this in your app. So if you had, a, if you were a business and you had a commercial or something like that that you were really proud of, you spent money on, you could um, put your ads also within the app, and people could check those out. So that's pretty cool. We'll close that out. Um, another thing too is interactivity with web servers. This is something I'm going to explore a little more in the future, but um, uh, contact forms. Uh, if you're an artist, maybe you want request forms or project request forms or feedback or anything. Um, this is all possible. If you have a prog product list or an updated list of some kind, open URL is really cool for that. Um, you can always format it to look as if it's an application and have it open up within your application so then it looks like you have one seamless application. Um, in this case I just put together a small web form and you can open it up here and you'll see that it has a form that you can just uh, fill out and submit and it would be connected to the internet and this also is included with the template. Um, just upload it to your web server or your client's web server or whatever and you can have a little web form. So that's that. We'll close that out. And then also we have our basic Facebook And we have our basic Twitter. And that's always nice. Clients go crazy for the kind of thing. So that is basically it for this one. Um, I can hit back up here. Um, 
I think it's pretty cool. I think it explores some things that maybe um, people might have not have thought of. Um, but it is only the beginning. So um, I hope you enjoy this template. I hope you um, get some use out of it. I hope you can see how powerful and how cool game cell it is. So uh, thanks for your time, and I hope you like this.